Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woking. I'm back with some more Nuzlocke. And off screen I went to go get some berries. So I'm gonna feed this milk tank. Because I felt like we had already had too many episodes of... <laughs> so many episodes of me just trying to get berries for this damn milk tank. Uh, is it finally healed? Thank you, thank the lord. We're doing this for Moo Moo Milk for Wong so he can love us, but then... Alright. Yes. Yes. How many more can I buy? Give me more. I best do my milking. Thank you. Anyway, I'll come back here for another day. But using that milk will heal up Wong and he will love us a little bit more from it. So that's good. But that doesn't matter because uh, we're 100% nightmare based for the time being. Because nightmare is going to be the way for us to continue on forward at a much faster pace. So yeah, we're going to continue on with the Pokemon stuff. Remember to leave a like if you end up liking this video. Stuff like that. You know you know the drill at this point. Funny enough, there have been less likes in the recent Pokemon videos, but also I remember what we did in them, <laughs> which was in essence, me forgetting I already had Gavin, so naming two Pokemon Gavin and constantly looking for berries and just me going in silence, and this is the part where Nightmare pounds, and stuff like that. So we're going to be putting up our boy Nightmare and... Uh, Let's see if we can get him some levels. Alright, let's see. Okay, so the perfect. We're gonna train up this lighthouse. This is basically Sahal's house we're here to take over. Also, I should mention, since uh, in case you clicked it, at this point we're a minute in, I may as well explain. Um, I asked Jace to make a, um, a drawing for me, which is I'm using for the cover, which would be, in theory, the shirt idea for the Nightmare t-shirt for this specific- Oh, it's a Noctowl. Hello. You got a weird face. Anyway. Uh, you don't know any moves I could kill. You- Oh man, that's our move. What the hell? That's a bunch of baloney. There's nothing else. Anyway, so yeah, the thumbnail for at least today's video, which is all Nightmare based as we try and level up Nightmare, is by Jace. And if you ever want a t-shirt from me for the Nightmare Pound or the Nightmare t-shirt, that's what it would be. That's what it, it would exactly look like. I have Jace's permission <laughs> that if I ever start selling shirts, I'm going to use that as a shirt. Oh, that's actually kind of bad. Man. It's also a terrifying picture, by the way. He showed it to me and I was like, that is horrifying. Just pure spookiness. I'm bringing out Kid Fisto. What are the chances of running into a Noctowl and him using hypnosis right on, on our boy here? But it's fine because birds are not very effective against rocks. Uh, rest in peace, Boot. That could have been you. But it's not. 346. Bitchin'. Gentleman Alfred. So yeah. We need one more level for Nightmare to get Confusion. So if we can get it this episode, that'd be fantastic. Because again, it would go with the thumbnail. Oh, uh, maybe I shouldn't end this episode until I'm 100% sure that he has... I don't want to use an Awakening on Nightmare, so we're just gonna leave this here tower and go heal. I'm telling you, man, it's the cheap side of me that never wants to. Why pay for? Why use these items when you can get it for free right here? Doesn't make any sense to me. That's me in every JRPG, though. It's like, oh, what? Healing items? Why use healing items when I can just almost die out in the field and then come back to the town and heal up? It's way more cost effective. That's just the way I do it. it just makes the most sense. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. Like, I always have an abundance of uh, money by the end of the game because I just never spend it on anything. What's there to spend it on? But at least in this run, I do have stuff to spend it on if I want to keep my Pokemon alive. Alright, now we move forward. Screw you, old man. I sure hope that is the last time we fight an Octowl. Men of the Sea are always spoiling for a good fight. What are you? Ruffians. I've also been watching the giant bomb run of Shenmue, and so I have a lot of feelings about sailors now. Oh, hello, Poliwag. <laughs> the eyes on that Poliwag are distressed. Don't tell me you're also going to use hypnosis, because I might actually just quit 
quit the episode right here. Thank god you're so weak, Poliwag. What do you mean it doesn't affect him? Like hell it doesn't affect him. Thank you. And now, so begins the Nightmare Pound. Pounding away. Pound. Critical hit. Man, nice. Straight up pounding. This is also probably why people haven't been left and leaving likes, is because it's just been nonstop this one joke over and over again. Which is... It's not my fault Nightmare doesn't know any other attack moves, but actually I could give him a TM and actually teach him another attack move. But at this point, at that point, we would just run out of space for... We would have to get rid of it. So, no, that, that ain't happening. Alright. Come on. That has to be enough. One more. Is it Poliwhirl? Yeah, it's Poliwhirl. I think I'm gonna use a... I totally have... Yeah, I do have Super Potions, thank god. I should give Nightmare a berry. So he can hold on to it. Please don't deal a lot of damage. Mm, I mean, it's not bad damage. It's not good damage. If he crits, that'd be very unfortunate. Thank you. Alright, I think I'm gonna flash him now. You have the most, like, creeper moveset. I, to be fair, flash I gave you. I taught you how to flash Nightmare. I taught Nightmare everything he knows about flashing uh, people. So, he learned that from me. But, your other moves, not so good. The ability to disable Hypnosis and Pound. It's And that's also your next move is Confusion, so it's just not gonna get any better from here. All right, how do you miss a sleeping Pokemon nightmare? <laughs> how? Don't give me that fucking droopy eye over the look over there. Come on. Also, I gave um during the the intermission of me getting berries, I gave um I gave Jolene some seeds. So now she's holding the miracle seed. So now she. I'm gonna. I was about to say something very unfortunate, which was that she has my seed. I still said it, so it doesn't matter. Point is, she has my Miracle Seed. That is what I mean. And I sure hope this is a crit. No crit. Alright. I mean, he can't hit me for shit, so it's fine. And then I crit you back. What? You got so many flashes. I flashed you like 27 times in the eyes, dude, and yet you're still fighting me. This is some straight-up baloney. I'm gonna use a berry. Eat the berry, Nightmare. Be strong. Thank you for finally missing for once in your damn life. 100% hit accuracy on that water gun. Pound. Yes. That should be enough for... Yeah, solo takedown. That's enough. Trying to learn confusion. Yes. Disable. I don't use Disable, and the times I've tried to use it, it's made me angry. So there we go. Sailor Huey! Arf, I lose. you damn right you lost. Back to the healing place. Oh man. I'm so happy Nightmare finally has his moves. Now he might actually be... Well, to be fair, Nightmare is technically has more feats to his name. If we're gonna power scale our team, um, number one is Kit Fisto. Followed by, I think, in terms of feats, next would have to be, is it Mouse? I don't know. You know what, this is a, hmm. I need to think about this one. Technically speaking, Nux did help a whole lot during the fight against uh, Crocodile. And, oh man, that's right, we also have to think about all our, our the two, our two deceased buddies in Jotaro and... Spoot. Okay, technically speaking, Spoot is the weakest Pokemon we've had because Spoot died so immediately. And not 100% his fault. I want to say he got crit. Yeah, he got crit. That had to be how it went down. But Jotaro had plenty of feats to his name before he was taken down, is what I, my general feeling is right now. Why are you here? Are you just here to gawk? I suggest you leave. Damn, dude. Who the hell are you? Some damn bird keeper's gonna tell me what the hell I'm gonna do with my life. 
Alright. Nightmare. It's finally time to unleash confusion. Please don't kill me in one hit. Okay, thank god. Nightmare, do you have like crazy ass defense? Why is why are all my Pokemon just like able to take a hit so crazy? Yeah. Hell yeah, Nightmare. I mean you have very low HP, which is unfortunate, but it doesn't matter because you now have confusion. Oh, that's another unfortunate. Uh, I was gonna say I should have given him a berry, but then I remember he doesn't have a berry anymore. There's a part of me that just wants to flip on over to Kid Fisto and kill this guy in one hit, but... Nah. This one's weaker than the other ones. Do you... Oh, did he start with his strongest Pidgey in the front? Wouldn't it be hilarious if I actually just died to this gust? He just did 27. He was actually the strongest Pidgey in his party. Alright, come on. Super Potion. Super Potion. There we go. Quick attack. Confusion. Hit him with that 1-2 Confusion Pumps. Damn, that did a lot of damage. Very good. We might actually be able to get you to 19 from this fight. Assuming that this guy has only bad Pidgeys. You know what would be a good time to use right now? It's time to- oh yeah! Not only is this Pidgey unable to defend himself, now he's gonna get psychically blasted in the face. I will switch out if he has a Pidgeotto, by the way. Just because I don't want to risk Nightmare to a Pidgeotto. I just realized that Nightmare's number one weakness is gonna be the move Pursuit. At least for this early going on. Damn! None of these Pidgeys stand a chance. Why did that guy go for the level 15 Pidgey after the level 17 one was not up to snuff? That doesn't make any sense. Everything about this trainer makes no sense to me. I'm gonna use Hypnosis once again. This guy's pissed at this point. He's fallen into the nightmare loop. See, now I'm, I've am i I've rebranded the name to the, to the Nightmare Loop, where it's Nightmare puts you under hypnosis and then just beats the crap out of you while you're sleeping. Or sometimes just flashes your eyeballs, which is what I assume he does, is that he goes right up to your face and just like, big ol' light in your face while you're sleeping. Yeah, level 19. Get it, Nightmare. Pidgey. Patrol. Confusion. Oh, I forgot to do the nightmare loop, which was to. That didn't. Doesn't even matter. Are you even worthy of the nightmare loop? Loop, loop, tiny Pidgey. Of course, you know quick attack. Oh damn! Eight damage. He scared me there. He actually did legitimately scare me. I was like, oh god, this is where we lose nightmare. I guess it's because Nightmare is technically a two evolutionary one, so his first stage is actually pretty tanky. Alright, time to get the hell out of this tower. Come on. Alright. Man. You know what? I should just end the episode right now. So thank you everyone for watching another exciting episode of the Pokemon Nuzlocke. If you enjoyed it, please remember to leave a like. Leave a comment how you feel about... Um, the current nightmare scenario that I've envisioned where this drowsy has basically taken over the show for the time being. Mainly because, you know, Kid Fisto can't save us every single time. Even though today he totally did save out Nightmare, so. There's your daily allowed time for uh, Fisto time. Uh, and tell me how interested you would be in a t-shirt and maybe I'll get something done. I don't know. It would be pretty funny if, based off of all the things I play if a random... Nuzlocke episode is where I decided to start selling random merch. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of today's episode. I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. Have a good night. And may your dreams be nightmares. <laughs>